Pixel just released a new feature and it's called Checkbox and now we can use the Checkbox within a cell and the way it's gonna help us to automate tasks. I don't know if you remember but back then Excel already had some Checkbox that you can use but you have access to the Checkbox you need to go over to the Developer tab and then Insert and then you can choose here the Checkbox option and another negative point about this Checkbox right here at least in my opinion is you need to manually make the checkbox works for each individual row. So if you have maybe 10 different rows, it's going to take you a long time to complete all these tasks because each one of the checkbox works individually. But now you can basically select any cell and then you can go here, insert tab here to the right, checkbox. I can click here and that's it. I done. All the checkbox are here within the cell now and functionalities are working the way that we expected. So let me show you here for example. If I click in a blank checkbox, I can see here through the formula bar that uh, the result is equal to false. But if I check this checkbox, I can see now through the formula bar, the, re the result is equal to true. That way we can make some automations in Excel using this function, true or false, that uh, the checkbox has. And something that I think it's good to point here is Google always had this option, checkbox. Here in Google, if you select any cell or a range of cells, and then you go to insert tab, here we're gonna have checkbox option. It's gonna work in the same way that now Excel has implemented. I think it's gonna be much better now for using Excel with this new feature, with this new functionality. And something to be mindful here is this checkbox to this new checkbox feature in Excel is available in Excel 365. If you don't have the Excel 365 yet, don't worry because maybe at the company that you work for, they have over there the Excel 365 or the newer versions of Excel. So you can use this new feature over there. Anyway, it's always important to know the new things, the new features, the new tools, the new functions, formulas that Excel is releasing. Let's see how can we use this checkbox in a practical way to help us to solve practical tasks, real problems, and how to use it on a daily basis, for example. So let's start here with this example where I have some tasks to complete. Um, I have a couple of uh, tasks here. Doesn't matter the tasks you have, it's just an example right here that I'm showing you. And here in status, I want you to add here a checkbox. Okay, instead of using checkbox, I could type it in manually, such as, okay, are done and so on and so on. But instead of manually typing the thing that uh, corresponds to the status of each one of the tasks, I think it's better and much smarter and faster to just input a checkbox here within the cell. And whenever I click in the checkbox, the entire row of the corresponding text is gonna be painted with a green color, for example. It's gonna be highlighted with a different color. I can simply select the entire row here where I'm gonna use as the status, just select a range and then I can go now to the insert tab and here to the right I'm gonna have checkbox option. I can click here and that's it, it's done. Now whenever I click here in any checkbox, I know that uh, this cell is gonna change their value to or true or false, depends on if the checkbox is check or not. Now to do here the condition formatting, I can basically select everything that I have and then I can go to the home tab. Here to the right I have conditional formatting and I can choose new rule. With this window that's gonna pop out for me, I can select this last option, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and here within this formula bar here that is actually blank now, I can insert the equals sign and select the first checkbox that I have. One important thing here is we need to read it off this second dollar sign here. We have basically two dollar signs. The first one is to lock the column and the second one is to lock the row, but as I want to highlight all the rows that I have in this range, whenever I click or not in the checkbox, I need to read it off the second dollar sign right here, just before the, the number two, like this. And whenever the cell B2, where I have the first checkbox, is equal to the word true, I want to format the background of the cell with a green color. I can choose here more colors to have access to a lot of different colors, such as this green right here. And then I can click OK, OK it again, and OK again. And that's it. Here is how we can use the checkbox option, this new tool, this new feature in Excel with a practical example to complete in a visual way some tasks here that we have in this spreadsheet. Whenever now I click in any different uh, checkbox, box right here as you guys can see the entire row is gonna be highlighted with this greenish color so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video i see you there